trial balance. As I said before, since equal amounts of debits and credits are entered in, in the account for every transaction that is recorded on a double entry basis, the sum of all the debits in the ledger account must be equal to the sum of all the credits. So the computation of the account balances has been accurate. It follows that the total of the amounts with debit balances must be equal to the total of the accounts and the credit balances. So before using the account balances to prepare a balance sheet, it is desirable to prove that the total accounts with debit balances are equal to the total amount accounts with the credit balances. This proof of equality of debit and credit balances is called the trial balance. So on the trial balance, all we have to do is put all the accounts with debit balances together on one side of the trial balance and put all the accounts with credit balances on the other side of the trial balance. Once we sum them together, we should have equal balances on the debit and on the credit side. A trial balance, as you see, is a two column, one on the debit and once on one another one on this side. This is the sample of a trial balance that we will see it later on in more details. So the trial balance is just a proof that the ledger is in balance. Equal debits and credits have been recorded for all transactions, and the addition of the account balances in the trial balance has been performed correctly. Suppose that the debits and the credit totals of the trial balance do not agree. So we have a problem. We have a mismatch between the debit balances and the credit balances. What would this situation indicate? There, must, there can be more than one error. Typical of such errors to reach us, to get us to this imbalances, it can be that the posting of a debit has been posted as a credit or vice versa. It's a wrong posting. It can be an arithmetic mistake in determining the account balance. Once doing the balances of the account, doing the summation, we added them and we came up with the debit instead of getting a credit. It's simply an arithmetic mistake. Or it can be simply a clerical error in copying the account. So as we said, posting from the, 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 the journal into the accounts, it's a simple copying of the account balance. It can be a wrong copying of the number, of the balance. Another type of error can be a listing of a debit balance in the credit column of the trial balance or vice versa. So what you are doing is simply putting a debit balance instead of a credit in the credit column. So it's simply a mistake in the understanding, in the logic. It can be a debit balance on the liability side. And as we said before, the liability should always have a credit balance. And on the debit, on the assets, it always it is a debit. Also, it can be an error in the addition of the trial balance. So when we put all the items in the balance sheet, in the, in the trial balance, once adding the column of the debit, maybe in the addition of the column of the debit, we got to a wrong number. And hence the mismatch between the debit column and the credit column. So the preparation of a trial balance by itself does not prove that the transactions have been correctly analyzed and recorded in the proper account. If, for example, a receipt of cash was erroneously recorded by debiting the land account, once adding everything together, we have the balance on the debit side, okay, it's a good balance, it's the right balance. But the account in itself, we had on the asset side land, which is an asset, we have cash, which is an asset. So once we increase the land instead of the cash, the asset increase anyway. So it's a problem by itself. We have to make sure by going through the details, by going through recording of each transaction from the beginning. Also, if a transaction were completely omitted,
from the ledger. So the error would not be disclosed by the trial balance. You will never know that the trial balance had something missing. It was simply omitted by error. So the trial balance in brief, it only proves one aspect of the ledger, and that the debit and the credits are equal. But for further details, we have to go into each and every transaction and check the posting of each and every transaction.